Hi, this is Prasenjit from Informatica GCS. Today I'm going to discuss about Cloud B2B Gateway process to backend mapping for inbound EDI message. This could be for any kind of message version for EDI. We have a short agenda today. We will shortly discuss about what is process to backend mapping. Why do we need this? And then we will go for a example flow and a test result. What is process to backend mapping? Basically, whenever we are defining any partner in B2B gateway for any EDI messages, by default, the inbound mapping will be an out of box mapping where the EDI message will be transferred into an interface file in XML format. I have shown these steps in earlier video. B2B get EDI gateway EDI inbound flows. Here, B2B gateway provides one more feature to process, to parse this XML interface file into relational format and save it to the backend system. So this is the use case and it's very generic for most of the organization because they don't want to store the XML data for further application processing, for ETL processing, they want it as, an, as a relational format. In this case, they have the option to choose process to get backend mapping in that B2B gateway partner using a data integration mapping and parse this XML file into relational format and use it further. Let's go to the demo section where I will be preparing the data integration mapping and we'll test the whole inbound flow from EDI file using the inbound mapping, getting the interface file, and then using the process to backend mapping, getting the relational format data. Here is the rule for source setup. We have to choose B2B EDI gateway along with GW EDI source as object to make sure it is picking up the correct file after the inbound mapping. And as I had explained earlier, any B2B EDI gateway connection has to be parameterized. So I have logged in into IICS B2B gateway. I have already created the test partner in the earlier video where I was trying to parse one of the EDI format. This time I have set up for 850 purchase order and the inbound mapping I have to choose the process to backend mapping where, which actually needs to be created in the data integration part and then I have to choose it. So just going through all these things for any details regarding this customer interchange qualifier interchange ID and all the steps to set up the messages and all kindly check the other link where i have provided the steps the link is given in this ppt in the inbound section i have just uh, created one sftp connection a dummy connection where it will fetch the 850 edi 850 file and Right now, I do not have any process to backend mapping selected. In this video, our goal is to select this process to backend mapping, create this, select this, and run it. Let's go to data integration to create the mapping. So here I am in data integration. I'll be creating the source first. As per the rule, I have to choose B2B EDI gateway as a source connection. So B2B gateway 
So object, I'll be checking the GW EDI source. Okay, and let me save it here so that I won't lose the source connection as of now. I will come to the parameterized part later on. Just we'll have a quick look. So these are the fields which are coming as a part of this source. So next is how to parse this XML file, how to read and how to parse. For that, we have a feature in data integration, which is called hierarchy parser. So let's choose this hierarchy parser. And I have chosen the file option because from the source, the file name and path is coming. Now we have to select the schema. Before we go to select the schema, we have to upload it. We have to make sure the schema is ready. The hierarchical schema is ready. So let's see how to create this hierarchical scheme. We have to go back to B2B gateway. I'm clicking on home option. Here I have the option message schemas. Right now I'm dealing with EDI file. My file type is 850 purchase order and version is 4010. And here I'm choosing this option along among these two. Okay, I'll click on apply and then I'll click upload message schema. Please remember as this is out of box mapping related as this is EDI 850 or any EDI mapping related, these schemas are available by, by default given from Informatica. In case of any custom inbound or outbound mapping, you have to use your own schema while working with the hierarchical parser. So schema got uploaded. I will be going to the data integration here. Now I'll check, look for the schema. I will search for 850. And here the schema is ready. Let me choose the schema. Okay. So input field selection. I'm interested on this column. I will map it. Field mapping. As per the schema, it is showing me these many fields are available, which one, whichever I want into the target database or flat file connection, which will be printed as a relational format. So right now I'm just interested in that ISA. So let me map it. You can have multiple targets to make sure the groupings of all the data. That means, let's say if you have three or four relational tables, it should have foreign key and primary key relationships to make sure the data integrity. So this mapping is done, field mapping. Let me just connect it and it will be asking me whichever group you want to connect. Right now I have just mapped one group, so only one group is available for the target. If I have, if I would have mapped rest or the rest of the groups, it it should show all the options. Okay, let's save the mapping. So mapping is saved, and the next part is to make sure we have to parameterize the connection, and also I have to choose the target connection. Target could be anything. Right now, for the demo purpose, I'm just showing a flat file connection. Definitely, you can use any relational database connection as well. I'm just going to create the file runtime. So now, I have to parameterize the source connection. As shown earlier, just click on the new parameter be it any name, that's it, save. So the process to backend mapping is ready. Now I will go to B2B gateway and select this mapping. Let me just rename the mapping once. So I am in B2B gateway. Let me go to that partner. 
and I will choose this mapping now. Ready, I will save it. Once the save is done, I will start the inbound flow. As said earlier, it will first execute this connection to bring this file into the B2B EDI gateway docs to location. After that, the inbound mapping, which is out of box mapping, will be executed. It will create the interface XML file. And at the end, this process to backend mapping will get executed, which will parse the data. Here is the first out of box mapping which is starting. If I check the B2B gateway events, I could see that the in inbound mapping run fine and the process to backend mapping is still running. The event is showing success. Let's go to the location where the file got created. So I'm just at the target location. I can see the target file got created and it has that relational format. This pipe symbols, quotes, everything is customizable, which I had done in my mapping. You can make it as a comma separated or semicolon separated. These are the data. Once you have the actual data, like other columns mapped to the target, you would understand the correct data. So that's it. That's the part of demo and test results. You may go through these links to understand the flow of EDI inbound and also for the detailed information. We would like to hear from you. Kindly use these portals. Thank you.